Hello friends. 918 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. In southern war zone on Kharkov front, the uses of UAVs have increased from both the side, especially from the Russian army. As far as Zaporizhia front is concerned, there have been no significant changes. In east on Marinka front, from one of the Ukrainian channels, close to Ugledar in north of Shevchenko direction Russians have made good gains almost 2.8 km on 6.8 km front and north of Nikolskoye and east of Huzno Donbaskaya they advanced almost a kilometer on a front of 2.5 km Ugledar Konstantin Nivka highway Russians have gained several new areas and also they have consolidated their position in Konstantinivka in other areas especially in Krasnogorovka the fight is continuing without any gains Pokrovsk of Divka Russians have full control on Novogorodivka and from there onwards they have started fight for Solidu they advanced in center of grow divka as well and by now hold 65% of this establishment ukrainians have entrenched from here onwards the left bank of zurovo river battle is underway after russians have taken over mykolaivka towards ukrainsky probably russians have advanced up to the outskirts of this village next destination naturally will be mirograd on entire pokrovsk front russians are advancing northwest west and southwest direction coming to toresk russians have expanded their control zone in toresk almost advancing 500 meter and offensive operation is on towards nelipivka russians took control of dachas between pivnikne and toresk As far as Druzhba is concerned, as per the Ukrainian channel, Russians have advanced in the center almost 250 meters. Chasyuyar, Bakhmut, and Sivers positional battle is on. Northeast Ukraine, Russians made some gains in last three to four days southwest of Pishane, and in south, that is Liman, Crimea directions, they advanced towards Nevskoye and also towards. Novo Sad Voe and north of Terni area north of Kharkov that is Slobozhansky directions pushtal battle continuing in Volchansk and Lipsty directions finally coming to Kursk Ukrainians are continuing their attacks in several direction but without any significant changes it used HIMARS MLRS to strike Kursk nuclear power plant no damage reported towards korinovo direction ukrainians continuing attack to advance towards the city however no appreciable gains suza district ukrainians reentered ruskaya konopelka they also repeatedly attacked on martinovka ruskoya poreknoe and malaya lokanya however no gains interdiction mission zelensky announced that ukraine had launched and carried out successful testing on first ukrainian ballistic missile however it is a surprise because ukrainians have already used homemade operational tactical grom 2 ballistic missile to attack crimea in 2022 itself and have used by laz s200 modified version air defense missiles and tochka u as ballistic missiles russians like previous days hit several ukrainians military infrastructure in sumy krivoye rog kharkov palvo pavlo grad kirovo grad kremchuk kiev while ukrainians hit russians targets using vast number of uavs in voronezh rostov kirovo oil store three attacks bryansk sevastopol war attrition for both the armies remains high palestine israel middle east 
IDF carried out air strike and other form of attack in West Gaza itself and have killed approximately 10 Palestinians. Otherwise, by and large, situation remains same. As per Israeli media, IDF soldiers who participated in war in Gaza were summoned for trials after the requested rest period. They were ordered either continue fighting or head for imprisonment. Russian government claims to have identified 4000 mercenaries in Ukraine pretty likely Duro in the meantime the telegram ceo has now got bail in france but remains under judicial supervision and therefore can't leave france he has to pay 5 million euros for this given favor and has to report police twice a week and that's all for the day friends thank you see you tomorrow